Greetings Earthlings! Today we'll be talking about how to get out of this world shoulders. Goodbye. What is going on guys? Coach Joe here at the Lion's Den located in Colmar, PA. If you're new to the channel, make sure you check out all the other videos, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Putting lots of good content out, and this is kind of my hypertrophy series for the next, I don't know, several weeks of uh, videos that are be coming out. It's gonna be dedicated to my journey into hypertrophy, AKA bodybuilding, as well as losing fat, maintaining, and then I'm gonna put on a lot of size after I'm done uh, with my cut. So I paired up with Dr. Mike Isretel from RP Strength, Renaissance Periodization, and they've been helping me with my nutrition and my training, I've been learning a ton, and I'm just trying to share that all with you. They also have a great channel, so go over, watch all their videos, buy their programs. You know, I just have nothing but great things to say about them, uh, and it's cool that we get to collaborate and hang out on a fairly regular basis. But in this video, what I wanna talk about are these things right here. Bam, bam. Shoulders, shoulders to boulders, big mountains that are sitting on your body. That is what we're gonna be discussing today. And something that I've really been trying to do is increase the overall size of my shoulders. And I feel like I've been getting some good gains, especially from doing the hypertrophy training. So I wanted to talk about some aspects of shoulder training and give you guys my three favorite exercises to hit the different uh, parts of the shoulder. So we have the front, we have the side, and we have the rear. And with these three exercises, you're gonna hit each part of the shoulder, and hopefully you'll get some gains, and I'll give you guys some knowledge, and uh, we'll keep this video short, sweet, to the point. So let's get on over to it. All right, so cutting right to the chase, we're gonna go with exercise number one, and that is going to be upright rows. I don't care if you do them with a barbell or if you do them with dumbbells. For the sake of this video, I'm just gonna show you upright rows with some dumbbells, but I love doing these to hit the front of my delts. And uh, the added benefit of doing these as well is it's going to activate your traps. You can't get too jacked, so if you feel your traps get involved with these, that's not a bad thing, okay? It's only gonna make you bigger and scarier, more intimidating, which personally I like. So uh, when we're going to do these, I'm just gonna grab some dumbbells. We wanna make sure that we are pulling up with using our shoulders and keeping the body English to a minimal. So when I'm pulling up, my elbows are coming straight up and I'm pulling these dumbbells almost to about where my forehead is, just like so. Keeping my hands in a neutral position, we don't wanna bring them out too wide, we don't wanna bring them in too narrow. So just a nice, comfortable, relaxed position, letting the arms hang down low, and then from there, pulling straight up. So that's just a basic variation when we're doing dumbbell upright rows or an upright row, but I'm feeling that in the front of my shoulders as well as in my traps. So that is one of my favorite movements when it comes to building a big upper body frame with the shoulders. All right, favorite exercise number two for the shoulders has to be the dumbbell lateral raise. And we're gonna add a slight pause to this just for a little bit more burn and some time under tension. So grabbing the dumbbells, you probably all have done this exercise before, but I do think it's one of the king exercises for building some big shoulders. We're coming out, we're pausing, and we're bringing back down under control. So all the way out, back down under control. One of the biggest things that I think people do wrong is they don't have a consistent range of motion and they use too much body English. So when you're doing these, don't be too consumed with how much weight you're using. Stick to good form and good technique. So we wanna make sure that we get to the same height every single time with the same pause, okay? Uh, but this exercise has absolutely blown up my delts over time. I've been doing it my entire training career and it stays in my training regime just because of how effective it is. So we're just trying to build that cap to our shoulders and this is one of those exercises that's definitely gonna do it. All right, so exercise number three, the final exercise on the list is going to be rear delt flies. Now I think when it comes to shoulders, if you really wanna look like a freak, and that's why we're on this channel, because we wanna be walking around, people are staring at us, wondering, is that guy natty or not? And you're like, heck yeah, I worked my freaking face off for these shoulders, baby. That's why we're here. 
And to get that look and to get those comments, it's imperative that you hit the rear delt because if you have big front shoulders and some sides, but no rear, it's almost like you get the cake, they cut it, they give you the piece and they flip the cake over and it just squashes on the ground. Oh, and it's an ice cream cake. So guess what? It's melting and it's also hundred degrees outside. You'd be miserable. That is what the rear delt is to the shoulders. So you can do these with a cable machine. You can do them bent over, but I like doing them seated just because I really focus on keeping my body nice and tight. It's locking my hips in a certain position as well as my back. And I just get to focus on the rear delts. So what we want to do, grab the dumbbells. I'm going pretty light. These are just 12s for the demonstration, but honestly, I probably use 20s or 25s. So you guys use your best judgment and keep it as strict as possible. When we're bent over and we're gonna do the fly, we wanna think about bringing our pinkies towards the ceiling, okay? This is the position that I use. You could turn your hands and bring your knuckles a little bit more towards the ceiling, but I find that I feel that more in the sides of my shoulders. So once I turn my knuckles down towards the ground, pinkies up towards the sky, I really feel like I'm getting a lot of activation in the rear delt there. So. Short, sweet, simple to the point. That concludes my video on how to build some freaky shoulders. And I've been doing a lot of these variations in my training and programming. I'm gonna give you guys a couple other tips to think about before we close this video out. And that's gonna be reps, sets, uh, volume, and frequency. If you look at the shoulders, okay, they are actually a smaller muscle group. Uh, well, mine are, mine are very small compared to something like my quads. Okay, so the smaller muscle groups, typically we can hit more throughout the week, so the frequency is gonna be a little bit higher. So on the frequency spectrum, I'd probably put shoulders minimally at twice per week, maximally anywhere from four to five times per week. Yeah, that sounds crazy, Coach Joe, but in my prime with actually building my uh, shoulder strength and aesthetics, I was pressing about five times per week, believe it or not. And I didn't die, go figure. So that's what I would say in terms of frequency. In terms of uh, reps and volume, we want to be a little bit on the higher end. So I would say up towards that 15 to 20, 25 ish, uh, total working sets with our training throughout the week. And in terms of volume, how many reps we want to be doing, I like to stay on the higher end of that. So it'll probably be somewhere from the 10 to 15 rep range, probably more towards the 12 to 15, uh, on that spectrum. And a way that you can train that often with the shoulders is just to play around with the different variations that you are doing so you are managing fatigue properly. But that's kind of the inside scoop on the shoulders. And uh, if you guys liked it, make sure you give the video a like, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. We also have a private Facebook group called The Iron Lions, boom right there where we give form checks, articles, all sorts of good information, completely free. It's just a cool community and culture, the iron culture that we're trying to build. And that's our little hub there. Uh, so if you want to join on in, it'd be really cool to have you. But until then, stay lean, mean, strength machine, and I'll catch up with you guys next time. Peace.